This video is an ultimate guide to get yourself a five-star review on Airbnb business right now if you're already operating. If you're not, hopefully this will give you a full detail and understanding of what you exactly need. So guys, welcome back to another Grow Your BNB video. My name is Piers. I've worked with over 1,400 properties all over the world. Listen, I can only share you experience some great, great customer reviews, some really you know, like, like with every business, you are gonna have challenges, um, some bad reviews, how to deal with it. And in this video, I will show you how to implement this in your business as soon as possible. First two things I really wanna cover right now is making sure you have the right guest expectation. That is probably the most important thing right now. And secondly, make sure you have the guest convenience in there because that's what's gonna make their experience better with you. That's what's gonna make them come and enjoy their stay with you. So let's, without further ado, let's firstly talk about what measure or measurements do Airbnb take or what question do they ask your end user? So firstly, let's talk about the overall quality. There's numbers of things that they, they break it down to and as a result of that, that's where you see that five star rating on Airbnb. The first one I wanna talk about is cleanliness. So in cleanliness, it's literally what it says in the tin, right? You need to make sure your properties are professionally cleaned, make sure that your guests will not find a little hair somewhere, which is gonna give them the bad experience. So how do you maintain that is it's not under your control. It's making sure your housekeeping team, your cleaners are doing the right thing for your business. The second thing they're gonna review you for is the accuracy. So making sure that you are accurate on your listing. Whatever you say in your listing is exactly what's in there. Because if there's pictures, i.e. I've seen a lot of time, you know, it's, it's okay to do so by the way, but having, you know, crossings, oranges, and all that kind of stuff to make your listing look amazing and then Let's say you've ran that business for a year, you go, you know, you've got a guest coming in. Little things like that sometimes can give customer a whole different expectation because you know they're looking at your professional photos and when they turn up, there might be even T's missing and little things like that, which is gonna give them a little bit of a, a bad experience, right? And that's why you need to make sure it's accurate on what you say is what you're providing. Check in. Now, people, you know, Airbnb is all about making sure clients have a great experience, right? When they're checking in, making sure that A, it's 100% right, B, it's easy check in, and C, making sure that the customer is communicated. You, they, it's so, so important that they understand how to check in in the easiest way possible because people are gonna talk about how easy was it to check in into your property. Now, the next one is all about location because what you explain, what they book, they're gonna talk about your neighborhood, right? Or did the guest, if they stayed there for, let's say a tourism, a vacation rental, did they enjoy what you offered? Or is a guest staying there for relocation, which is they come and stay with you for a month, you know? Are they gonna love your neighborhood? And they're gonna talk about the location, how, how well is your location placed? And if they give you the five star rating as an end user, you know you've got the best location. And as a result of that, you're getting those five star reviews. And the last two things really is all about communication. Airbnb is a massive, massive fan. And you know, as a business, it doesn't matter if it's just review based, but you need to make sure that you have the best workflow, including communication with your guest. One of the things we've started doing, and you know, some, this is something that you can add into your business, Google Maps. If you can add that into your check-in details, all of a sudden, it makes their life a lot easier. Customers will click it and they will know exactly where to go. And you could imagine as a result of that, nowadays people love Google My Business. They love everything, they do Google everything. So that is very, very crucial. And the last part is the value for money. Whatever they pay for, Airbnb will ask your guests, was it worth value for money? And that's when a lot of people go, oh, it was great, but only give them four star, or they're gonna go, yeah, it was amazing, paid exactly, lot. you know, they paid 120 pound, but the service level, the quality of your property, the location, everything was above and beyond, and you know you're gonna get that five star review with the best comments. So 
I hope that kind of gives you some of the measure KPIs that Airbnb use to ask your guests. One of the biggest thing, again, you know, if you're watching this video, I, I always want to make sure all these videos are based on the experience that I've personally gone through, also my clients, and especially new clients that I work with who have just started their business last month, you know, a few months ago, they're struggling with one little thing, and that is communication, because I truly believe that the communication side of reviews, or in general in the business, will allow you to make sure you get the best review. So how do you go about it? Firstly, let's just go prior to check-in, or even prior to book. When somebody is looking to book with you, now we're a massive fan of turning off the instant booking, which means a guest will inquire first. As a result of that, when the guest actually inquires, how quickly are you replying? How professionally are you replying? Because I have seen some clients account where our clients gone, you know, a guest has asked a massive questions, different, and they've gone, yet yeah, we do this, yet yeah, we do that, and that was it. Little things like having the right communication patterns, such as, hello, good evening, hope you're well, thank you so much for inquiring, really happy to serve you. All this little communication pattern will really help your end user feel the difference between you just going, yeah, this is what we offer, to, hey, we really do care about your stuff. The, the, the time of, again, communication in terms of prior to arrival, let's imagine they booked. Are you giving them all the information they need? Are you giving them enough time to action it? Are you setting up reminders? Again, this is just going back into that communication level that you're giving them as an experience, right? When they check in, are you making sure on the day of arrival, if you've got time, a hello phone call would always help. You know, hey, this is Piers. Thank you so much for booking. I, you know, or my team does it, but it's always worth you doing it because in that way, you're gonna have that guest going, oh, do you know what, Piers, we've got this question. Could you answer this? That experience is, again, allowing you to give, get yourself the best reviews, that five-star review you want, because that review, as you're probably aware, is now reviewed by your other potential guests who are gonna look at booking out your property. So, very, very important part out of all the things I've mentioned today, communication can really take a lot, lot better ways for your five-star reviews. The last thing, again, with reviews, I've also felt dealing with complaints, right? Because sometimes you're gonna get bad reviews, but it's always gonna be a complaint first. If you can deal with the complaint in the right way, understanding the guest behaviors, being fair to the guest as well as being fair to your business, explaining them everything, give you an example, if um, in a previous video I've also talked about a recent client I've worked with, he recently got into Airbnb, had his first 14 nights booking from a contractor, the contractor checked in, didn't like the property, felt that there was more to it and then they started, you know, removing beds, taking pictures underneath the bed, not clean, kitchen was a little bit dirty, well not massively but some little points like wardrobe and was opened and taken pictures off. Now if the guest is going to go into that level they definitely want a refund to that property right because they're taking pictures so then they can prove Airbnb that the standard wasn't there. Now, all of a sudden, my, my client was, you know, fuming and they went like, you know, we've done this, we've done that, but actually the guest is not going to obviously listen to it because they've already made their mind to leave the property, right? So there's numbers of things you've got to w deal with the complaint. Firstly, you've got to speak to them, find out what do they want to. Do they want another clean? Like in that case, I said to my client, do they want another professional clean while they're working away for that day, right? Is, is, you know, what made them upset? Why are they looking underneath the bed when the bed was set placed properly? All this little question of communication will always help dealing with the complaint. And that is the sort of things that is gonna prevent you from that bad review, right? Because at the end of the day, you can give them a refund, you can hopefully close the case for both the party, but also you need to make an impact because you've got to say to them, you've blocked the calendar for them for X amount of time so then they can stay in the property. And them to close and cancel the booking straight away means A, you've lost the business, B, okay fine, you haven't set the standards, which probably is why the guest has complained, right? But you need to also communicate and tell them that this is why, as a result of that, it's gonna make an impact in your business, and if there's a way for both to agree a settlement, you should do so. And lastly, look, don't trap yourself to problems because at the end of the day, we've qu quickly realized that certain thing in operationals, certain thing with your housekeeping team, certain thing in your communication level is what's gonna impact those 
five star review. So again, little things in the business is gonna really help you not get into those problems. So guys, look, what we're doing right now is we're giving two free PDFs to make your life easier. It could be any topic regarding Airbnb and short-term rental business. And you know, we don't do, we don't offer any mentorship. So at this moment in time, my job here is to make your business the most smoothest business ever. Hopefully as a result of that, you enjoy the industry a lot more, you scale, you make money. Well, it's an interesting video. Hopefully you learned about Airbnb, its algorithm, its measure of KPIs, but guys, I would love you to comment down below. You must have had some problems in your business because this video and the comments are read by other operators potentially looking to start their business, right? So I'd love to hear your story. How did you go about dealing with it? And look, we've done so many other videos in regards to Airbnb business. So thank you so much for watching another Grow Your BNB video. Please make sure you hit that like, subscribe and share and we'll be back with another video soon.